Welcome back, everybody, yet again to another episode. This is, I think, the fourth episode of our brand new world, which is uh, increasingly becoming not as brand new, I guess. It's still kind of new, still in our, our first little bit, but either way, uh, good to have you guys all back here. In fact, I, I'm just, while I'm, while I'm standing here, I may as well be useful and grab one of those. Fantastic. So, quick bit of an update. We've been done a mining session since the last episode. Uh, did a few little building things. I always add a, a thing here or two. Uh, oh, by the way, look at that. That's what we did in the last episode. That looks awesome. That is a very neat little tower. We'll go around this way just so we get to we get to experience it a little bit better than before. Where's the sun? Going down. Okay, good time to start. But either way, as I say, we've been doing some real good stuff. And of course, by the way, before we, we get to the village, thank you again to everybody for your great input, great comments, and just uh, great positivity for the series. Really do appreciate it. So thank you very, very much, guys. Uh, now, let's let's head on. And, and also, by the way, I've been increasingly thinking more and more about the ideas for this village, which is going to be super cool. And one thing we do need for the village, so you guys can get your brains working on it throughout this episode, is a, what should we name this village? What is like a, a great name for a village like this? It's It, it shouldn't be like a, a, a big city name. I, guess, I don't even know if, I mean, I guess they're not all named like that, but I, I don't want it to kind of sound like it's, it's a big thing. I want it to sound kind of quaint, small, sort of what this place really is. That's what I really hope for. And also, by the way, the reason I was getting clay, ooh, the levels. Um, let's just save these levels. I, I, the reason I was getting clay was because I want to add some brick in here, because we've got the we've got the new textures, and I, I think they they will work quite all right. Let's go get some lapis as well. So as I said, we've been doing some mining. That explains my almost broken pickaxe. Look at that three durability left on it, and also the levels that we got. Of of course, quite a few levels. And what we need to do is we need to go ahead and get ourselves something new. I've also got a few diamonds. Uh, there's a few left in the caves. I didn't want to get them until we got fortune. But let's check what we have here. Efficiency three. That's what we left with the last one. Let's just take those off. We had the choice between feather falling. Was that right? Feather falling three or aqua affinity. I mean, feather falling three is not amazing, but it's it's not terrible. I'm, I might just pop that on boots. Let's just put, let's make some boots. I, I had enough to make a helmet or boots. I'm going to go boots. Too late now. Cover me with diamonds. Beautiful. Is that, isn't that for every piece, or is that just any piece? I guess it's just any piece of armor. Okay, so there, it's only two levels as well. So we're kind of close to one. Protection two, feather falling three. I think that's an upgrade. I, I don't I don't mind it, to be honest. Respiration, oh, that's tempting. Very, very tempting, but that's silk touch. We can't not take silk touch. Silk, oh, look at that, that is beautiful. I'm breaking three, efficiency four, silk touch. Now, what you don't know necessarily is combining these two babies makes one beautiful, beautiful pickaxe. So let's just check the last few ones. Sharpness four, not a bad one. I'm breaking three, yeah, not really too cool. Uh, if we had a cool enchantment like feather falling there as well, we would take it. I guess, really, I'm breaking three, yeah, I, I guess we really should just be looking for another fortune. So... I might just, yeah, I might just leave that and we'll, we'll go, we'll do that on the next episode. We'll, we, I'm just going to do the enchanting as it comes. It's not really a big deal. We might, I was going to say, we might have a level in that. So let's go and put in uh, those. Beautiful. And we can make ourselves also, by the way, we, we, we're we living in a blacksmith. I don't know if you guys realize that, but yeah. We're living in a blacksmith, a blacksmith's place here and we don't have an anvil. That's quite a pity. In fact, that's something I, I've never thought about, but up until now... It, it never crossed my mind that blacksmiths in this game don't have an anvil. I feel like that. I feel like they should. Just there. Let's see. Looks good. Beautiful. And let's spend these hard-earned levels. It's a bit weird that it's doing that. We'll do the five any day and bam. Efficiency five. I'm breaking three and silk touch. That thing is a beast of a pickaxe. That is beautiful. And, and the reason I took these, by the way, was just to, just to add something to somewhere. Beautiful. So, as I say, today we, we're doing that sort of stuff there, and the main thing about today's episode is I want to get a brand new roof design, and, and it kind of goes back to looking at this thing, which was a beautiful, beautiful thing to add to our world, and I think it, it is almost overshadowed uh, by what is currently a very basic roof, and, and as I say, I do want to improve as we go, a fairly basic roof over here. They just don't seem to line up. Look at that. It just, it's something isn't quite right. And that's the fact that this roof is sort of boring. It's its nothing really too exciting. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and make a very interesting little build on this roof. So I, I think what I'll do, 
I'm gonna wait for this stuff here to cook up. We've got 20 of them. Let's just use these. I'm actually doing this and give me some of those, please. Perfect. Uh, what we're trying to do here is I, I want to make this over here a little bit more interesting. And, and I know it's it's not the the most common thing, but and, and I'm, I think the granite might be a bit pushing it a little bit. Uh, but putting in some of these around the place, oh, this efficiency feels amazing. It does. It really does. I, I need hardened clay. That's what we do really need. But putting these in around the place, I think we'll, we'll definitely just add a bit more color to this place. And I, and I want to start it from the beginning. And of course, these might not work immediately, but it's over time. We'll, we'll get them to work for us. So do not worry about that. That was just me testing out things. We will, we will get them to work eventually. So I guess if you guys are looking to build roofs a little bit more interesting, a little bit better than what they currently, like what I guess a lot of people currently do, uh, this is probably going to be the episode for you because we're going to actually be learning a little bit of stuff here, hopefully. And, uh, and not only that, of course, I, I, I find myself occasionally to be doing some kind of cool things in building. And at least when I, when I do think that there's something cool that someone might be able to gain, I, uh, I try and add that in. So hopefully today will not be an exception to that. And we'll be, we'll be able to find something really neat. You know what I did realize though? Here's, here's a pro tip, which is silly. Uh, just bring all the resources you need. I thought I had enough, but it turns out I certainly did not. We'll do there, we'll go there, and we'll make all of these into more of those. There, perfect. And we also should grab some of those for some pillaring. So let's go have a look at what we can do to this roof. Most importantly, there, there's a few things you can do to, to make things more interesting. Here we go. This is like a, a little bit of a rundown, all right? So first one is you can add some texture to something, which always makes something a little bit more interesting when you add texture to it. The next thing you could do is add shape. And I think that's what we're going for today. We're gonna try and add shape to this roof because this one here is very shapely. It's not very textured. And, and I think that's what's gonna help, help us a lot. Uh, so how about we go, there we go. Check this out. This is an odd number this way. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect, it's an odd number. That is fantastic. So we'll, we'll just go ahead and get rid of a lot of this. And I want to take a big chunk out of this roof and, and you'll see why I've got I've got some idea of where we're going here So if we can maybe get rid of a few of these in here And we're gonna try and make this roof go down and up again And I guarantee you we'll have a cool looking design or an interest. <laughs> let's let's put it this way We'll have an interesting looking design by the end of it, of course Right now while we're doing that I've also I've, I've also got a bit of a plan you see because I've got that heart of the sea, which, by the way, thank you very much, whoever said it in the, I think it was the last episode, who said, Jancy, if you carry that heart of the sea with you, you can see underwater. I haven't actually tested that out, but I never knew that was a thing. So thank you very much for letting me know that. Uh, but if, if it is the case, that's going to be super, super useful. Uh, however, I do want to get it into a conduit. So if we can get a proper conduit out of this, uh, that would be really, really cool. But I'm not too sure if it is the case that you can carry it underwater. But either way, we, we, we're going to be working towards a conduit. Nonetheless, so do I need this over here? I do not because that actually should be like that and that so that's just me being silly. Yeah, same on that side Cool. All right So what we're trying to do is we're gonna try and pull this in here So if we can go there, we'll go in maybe like another one there another one there I'll just get rid of this so it doesn't ruin our view It's right this side. We're just gonna do one side anyway to make sure it works. So we go down there and then we'll just come in maybe in like that. So we'll check this out. Let's let's hop down. Okay, take a little bit of damage. I should have got, yeah. Okay, wait, I did get the fiddle falling. I was gonna say, that's beautiful actually. Look at this, Let, let's just jump. Let's see the beauty of just feather falling three. Nothing, <laughs> hardly anything at least. Yeah, you can see it there coming along very, very smoothly. I know a lot of people actually do try this and, and I, I think it's a very difficult thing to get right, but hopefully, well, at least it's not too difficult, but it, it's a, a little bit of an interesting thing to get right. So if you guys do, of course, struggle with it, hopefully this will be your your ticket to getting them, getting them better and better. And, and by the way, I'm, I'm no, no expert with this roof, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> uh, but it is the one that I, I do want to go with though. So we'll do that in there. Let's go into here. And we'll get rid of this one down there. And I'll quickly catch some shut eye. And then we'll be right back. A villager was trying to jump on that just as I came on it. <laughs> I really, I think that's not a good idea. So we'll get back to this roof. So there's a few things besides that, which are just like universal rules in Minecraft. And that is what I'm doing here, where I'm going all in, well, at least for building in Minecraft, where I'm going all in a row like that. That's, that's like a, a, a rule break for me. Uh, I like to I like to keep things 
where they're all are, like finishing on the same levels there, I'd like to finish that off in a, in a slightly different way. So, Feather Falling is beautiful. Let's just, let's just put it out that way. Feather Falling is beautiful. So that means we don't get a lot of repeating textures. That's, that's the main thing that I, I was trying to get across there. Is we, we don't want repeating textures. So we'll do that. And then I'm actually going to do this one at an angle because I'm pretty sure the villagers won't jump up at an angle. So that, that's what we want to go there. So we got this here. We got that there. Yeah, that's looking all right. That's looking cool. And then we go out one more here. And then we could probably try and take this around the roof like this. Um, can we, can I get in there? Like this, so we're doing a, a three block tall thing here. This is like a, a, a thing that I do all the time. And and I really need to hold myself back from doing it. This is like three block thing, but it's, it's such a good thing. And uh, we'll do that, we'll do that. And I have a hunch that this will be good. It might need a, a bit of touching up, but we'll, we'll go check it out. So let's step down there, drop down there and Take that damage. I just I just love the feather falling. I have to. <laughs> I, I gotta admit, I love taking that feather falling damage right now because it feels amazing. Yeah, I like that. That's a that's a simple roof. I tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Also tell me what the name of the village should be. But that is a beautiful little shape of a roof. And I think it complements that shape over there. Let's just let's move out a little bit. That that is you know what? Sometimes I gotta plan. And it normally doesn't end up getting recorded just because I'm like, yeah, I scrap it, restart the episode if it's a horrible build. Of course, hey guys, we've just built a whole roof, but don't worry, <laughs> it's going in the next episode, so I'll always get rid of it. But this works straight up. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with myself. That is fantastic. All right, so that to there. And we also can't forget that this is on both sides of the village. So we, we keep looking from one angle. I'm going to start working from the other side at some stage, but... That is a very neat little look there. And I also want to get this uh, cliff face fixed up. I might do that in between episodes or something there. I, I like to add in a little bit more nature into my, my build. So I guess what we do now is we'll go through here and I'll, I'll copy this all over. And, and well, in fact, well, before we do that, let's, let's just have a look at this. There is a little bit of an issue. What I was telling you guys about this, where we've got these over here all in a row. So there's three, three, and three. That plays around with your eye when you look at that, and, and your eye picks up on it immediately. It says, oh, hold up, hold up. You, you've got everything on the same level. You can't do that, and, and it's true. You can't. Well, you can, but that helps, you see? Just a little thing like that changes it all. And in fact, I guess we could, and I think this might be a bit much, but we could go here as well. Ow. <laughs> all right, let's go back out here, and... Just make sure it works from a distance. So you see, it's building up close, building afar. They, they're two different things. When you look from afar, yeah, it's got a good a good little shape to it. So I'm going to add it onto the back, and then we'll be right back. So there's always this awkward period. As you can see, the sun's busy going down right now, and it's just a really awkward time when you, you can't do anything because your day's going to get started. The village is too close. You've got to spawn mobs in it. That's my, well, at least my worry in here. And I, I don't really have something to do. I just kind of have to wait around. In fact, today was a bit of an exception. I, I did do a bit more to this area, slowly working this in. We, I wanted to maybe get a little bit of andesite in here and also probably a little bit of plain stone, smooth stone. I just want to work it in. I want to I play around with textures, see how I feel, see if I can change it up. I've also done some changes to the roof and stuff like that, just just for the for the, for the the fun of it. We'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. So let's go in and start to find my little hobby. It's kind of like a, a hobby. Well, uh, while many people go out doing this particular hobby in the morning to go out uh, fishing, I guess. I guess, well, at least all the people I know always go out fishing in the morning. I think it'll be cool for us to go out fishing in the evening. Uh, because, as I say, we well, I was talking to you guys a bit earlier, and this was what I was kind of alluding to, was we, we have that Nautilus shell. And, well, we, we need a Nautilus shell. Sorry, we've got that uh, Eye of... Heart of the Sea. So, excuse me. Heart of the Sea. And, hmm... What's going on, witch? I heard that. Okay, uh, no, this is not a, a time for laughing. Okay, there we go. Uh, and zombie, you go. And this is kind of lucky, I guess. Uh, okay, cool. All right, so this this could be <laughs> this could be the first death so far in this world, but I feel like we're gonna do all right. So I want to do some fishing. That's that's pretty much the the whole idea of this. Anyway, we've got a fishing rod already. Uh, so I, I really want to go and do some fishing. I realized that we had one of these around here. Oh, I kind of feel like me hitting that with a. Don't break my cobweb. There we go. 
Uh, three. Good. We're good. <laughs> I kind of feel like me hitting a, a creep with flame should make it explode automatically. I don't know. I just think that would be a cool little thing. I'm sure I wouldn't when it happens, but I think it would be a cool thing right now. So yeah, that, that's what I thought at least. We should do a bit of fishing. Of course, there's also the, the, this, the whole idea of my idea of AFK fishing is, is another one. I mean, I think I've mentioned it already before, but uh, my, my thought on AFK fish farms, because I know someone's going to suggest, Jancy, why don't you just have an AFK fish farm? I understand. They are amazing things. They're like next level. By the way, how cool does that look? So good. So, so good. But they, those are next level loot, experience, everything level machines. How did I break one of those? I must have just clicked at the wrong time. And and that is actually my problem with them, is that they are so good at getting everything. Uh, specifically in the, in the beginning parts of the game, where you, where you end up having so much stuff, like uh, you've got... Is this the way I do it? I probably could just click on the recipe. There we go. Uh, where you, you end up needing so much stuff, but you can just do a farm in a matter of a few minutes, five, ten minutes, and you can have your hunger, you can have your... Oh, here's a perfect little dock. You can have your hunger, you can have your... Uh, food, you can have your levels, you can have your uh, enchanted books, everything sorted out within a matter of uh, a matter of hours by not playing the game. And that, that's, oh, do these fish, are those fish looking at it? What does this still work the same way? I feel, I want to know, are they, they not, yeah, they further away. Just, it looks like it, coincidentally. Fishy business, beautiful, raw cod, fantastic. Look how close these look. So close. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's my thought at least. I, ju I just think that they are a bit too too overpowered for me and, and they take away so much fun in the game that, that I think really uh, I, I would miss if it wasn't there at least. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a little bit of fishing, I guess, for the day, kind of like how I do my mining sessions and stuff. I want to see if we can get at least one Nautilus shell. I want to see how rare these things are because if we can get eight, I'm pretty sure it's eight around one of those... Those eye, hearts of the sea. I'm almost going eye of enders. Hearts of the sea. We should be able to have underwater breathing and stuff or, or something crazy like that in this area if we put it down here. Uh, but I, I know that we do need some other blocks along with it, but that'll be really cool. Oh, and levels. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. That That is a very good hobby. I think I'm going to be doing a lot more fishing around the place. I even thought about it. You know, I was, I was adding all my things in that I, I think are a bit silly about AFK fish farms. And I didn't even mention... Just avoiding the fishing in the game completely. I know, I know some people have vastly different ideas to me with that, but I think it'll. I think the fishing actually, despite it being fairly slow, it's 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 just like mining in the game, I guess. Really, really enjoyable. Just seeing what you get, kind of rolling the loot table, seeing what comes out of it. Always a good time. And uh, and we sadly did not get anything too lucky, but it's it's kind of like that little gamble each time. You never know what you're gonna quite fish up next and, and I think that's one of the coolest things about it so I'm very very excited to keep doing a bit more fishing around the place and seeing how long it takes us to get that nautilus shell or or eight of them <laughs> for that matter yeah that's that's good we'll we'll get this shape over here real good I want I want to just I thought I know I said I was going to do this in the next uh, like between episodes but I think it's something that can be kind of cool is is getting terrain around your builds working for your builds and I, I've always been a big fan of this and it's uh, it's definitely something. Oh, dang it, that's in the way now. Okay, uh, we don't we don't need these on a hot bar. We work in outside, so it's something that can really add a lot to it. And that's that's just why I'd like to add in add in more of it as much as we can at least to these builds. And I, and I think oh ah oh, yes the silk touch beautiful. I was expect I was I must admit I was expecting some cobblestone there. I've, I've mined enough recently to to be expecting cobblestone and and there was nothing, which was a pleasant pleasant surprise. First time using that silk touch. Although, no silk touch on that, but that's fine. We, we don't need that to pick up gra uh, oh, not grass blocks. Yeah, grass blocks. I, I'm getting a little bit confused with what I'm saying here. So there we go. We'll get some of those. And also another thing, which we can't do to this. So we, we get this sort of stuff going on. I like to use the andesite because I think andesite's a beautiful block. I really do. I know some people, I know many people disagree with me every time I say it, but it is. It's, it's a block that's got so many little colors in it look at this like the the andesite block green blue ish green ish <laughs> it's just a really really neat little block that's why i love it so much but of course i understand not everyone thinks the same and and all that but i, I think it's i think it's something really cool i keep not putting that over there that's where i need it why, why do i keep stopping doing that so let's just get a bit of this on and see how this looks i, I don't want it to be too stony but i, I don't want it to be too 
dirt like if that makes sense as well so we'll we'll go and try and work our way out in between the two and see what turns out from this so take a step back yeah that's a that's a neat looking little natural looking actually not like minecraft natural but natural natural like I to organic look it I guess is is the word there for that there that that is very very cool I might just do a bit more up here and I guess we could we could probably hang some over like that and some over over here as no up over there as well so let's check what that looks like from a distance see today today's like the the shaping episode day we do just think a bit of shaping I guess realistically and then we need to take that one more up and then we can add some leaves and make this thing look like a, a beautiful little new ad into this world. And of course, hopefully there's someone out there that was like, I didn't think that terraforming made that much of a difference or just landscaping made that much of a difference. Oh boy, it does. <laughs> it's crazy the kind of difference that just adding, adding a little bit, I'm going to actually be smart and save that leaf block, adding a little bit of color and a little bit of... Uh, Terrain changes to your terrain can do. Look at that. Very, very cool. We'll actually go to the top and we'll get some more just on the back there. So that as you look from here, you can see the leaves sticking out the back that way. Oh man, it, it does. It excites me a lot to see this stuff. Very, very cool stuff. Despite the fact that the buildings are the cool things, I think the, the terrain is, is definitely what a lot of people are missing. So can I get that in there? Let's go check that out from the bottom. And I'm pretty sure that is what we can call a, a well done build and a well done episode, of course, after that. Beautiful, you can see it coming out there. Obviously a bit of work to be done, but hey, this is episode number four. We, we've got a whole bunch, literally hundreds of episodes in front of us. So thank you everybody, as I say, for the great support, the great comments, and of course, uh, for telling me your perfect town or city names in the comments very very cool of you guys of course <laughs> but overall as i say very very cool uh, uh, like response to this series and i'm having so much fun doing it so thank you very much for joining me here today guys and i'll see you very very soon